Hi there everyone, it is currently the 30th of November 2012 and all eyes are on uh, Tropical Storm Bofa, soon to become Typhoon. I would not be surprised going into Friday then eventually Saturday. Uh, this is a Typhoon, so on the title I have put Tropical Storm slash Typhoon just uh, for that reason. But elsewhere in the Western Pacific we are watching some rough weather across southeastern China. Actually some record breaking rainfall here. Uh, uh, in Fujian province, you typically see uh, about 40 millimeters of rain through the month of November, but due to a lingering stationary front here, you have been seeing intense rainfall across the area. Actually, up to about 1 to 200 millimeters throughout the past several days. So flooding is continuing to occur uh, across this area, even down towards Hong Kong. You're seeing some wet weather, but also let's follow that front towards the north. Tokyo seeing some light showers through the overnight hours, but there's still more heavy snow to be had in Hokkaido. On top of the snow you've been seeing throughout the week, actually about 40 centimeters in some of the higher elevations here, you can see the snow bands here on the Japanese radar moving across the Sea of Japan. That is that cold air coming out of Russia, picking up the moisture, dumping it along the coastlines here. That is uh, continuing to occur. Good news, uh, you enjoy the snow there as far as the ice festival in Sapporo. Bad news, it is making for some conditions. That's enough of north in the weather here. Let's look towards the south. South of Guam, we have our tropical storm, Bofa. Bofa is continuing to intensify. Yesterday, winds were at 40 knots, then up to 45 knots. Now, it is continuing to strengthen. Let's take a look at the outlook from the Japan Meteorological Agency. And here, showing their five-day outlook, they actually expected to still intensify, becoming a, a typhoon on the 1st. So that would be Saturday and on the 1st. It will become a typhoon, then eventually approach Palau here. And that is really where you're going to be seeing some rough weather uh, going through the 2nd and eventually the 3rd. So Sunday going into Monday across this area. The reef typically protects you here uh, from the high waves, but it's the storm surge you got to be watching for here when this comes in because the storm surge doesn't just produce waves. It literally raises the surface of the ocean. That is going to be flooding some low-lying areas. So a very dangerous storm is going to be had here as this continues to push across or right across Palau. Then eventually off towards the Philippines. I know everybody here in the Philippines is still watching this uh, very closely in it. Lee is, uh, I do expect a landfalling eye wall here sometime at the mid part of next week. Now this is Joint Typhoon Warning Center also expecting the storm to move right over Palau. And this is actually as far as the tropical storm wind strength uh, extent out. That's the uh, typhoon strength wind. So it is going to intensify, not only deepen as far as winds, but extend the wind range out from it. Because right now, it's actually a very small wind range. Ex exceptionally heavy rain. Though, as shown from the uh, trim satellite imagery here, this is actually over the past week. And you can see some areas north of Papua New Guinea, upwards of about five to 600 millimeters. I see some reports in some of the smaller islands out here towards the north part of the Federated States of Micronesia, upwards of about one to 200 millimeters over 24 hour periods throughout this week. So all this rainfall is also going to carry off towards the west. But really these small islands, Yap and Palau, uh, you need to watch out for the storm surge, the gusty winds, the flood is going to be a major factor once it approaches the Philippines. Speaking of approaching the Philippines, we already looked at JMA, JTWC. Let's take a look at KMA and their five-day outlook also on the storm, having it move over Palau and eventually there towards nor northern Mindanao and also Visayas. Meanwhile, very similar track coming from Taiwan as well. They expect it to continue to intensify. I guess my purpose of showing the various agencies is for one, to show you a consensus that all of them are really agreeing on the storm moving over Palau and then eventually towards the east coast of the Philippines. But also, if anybody from Magasa is watching, I do think it is it's time to start issuing a special statement on this storm as it continues to approach your direction. I know a lot of people in the Philippines, uh, they tend to just wait for Bagasa to name the storm. At least putting something out there. I know I do have some friends from Bagasa. I like you guys a lot, but you really need to uh, uh, kind of put a head warning on this one because it is going to be a strong storm. And there is a lot of time now to make preparations ahead of it there in the Philippines. So just something uh, to note. Now, if we take a look at the imagery, one thing I do want to mention on the satellite imagery, look at the last frame. Microwave imagery is also agreeing on this, and eyes starting to form. Thus, uh, I do think that it is becoming a typhoon very soon here. If we take a look at the uh, visible imagery, actually on the last frame, you can also see it fairly clearly here. Uh, right near the center circulation and eye wall starting to pop up and also on top of that take a look at some of this banding coming in from the north and the south if that is not very good characteristics of a typhoon i'm not sure quite sure 
uh, wood is, but also uh, wind shear starting to lax across this entire area. If we pull up that chart, you can see 5 to 10 knots. That is perfect uh, environment for wind shear. Sea surface temperatures right around 28 to 31 degrees. And uh, furthermore, uh, you do have very good outflow going ahead of this high pressure aloft, allowing for that air to escape. The downside, it is lacking Coriolis force, which it is overcoming with all these other factors. Typically, the rule is uh, for tropical systems, you want them to be uh, north of 10 degrees north. That is way off here. So this storm is exceptionally far south for a developing uh, cyclonic system. Well, at least for now, though, my thoughts is that the storm, just like all the other agencies and the model consensus, if we uh, show that really quick, is that it will continue to track any west-northwesterly direction, eventually moving over Palau here as it moves off there, and then into the Philippines. Visayas, you really need to watch Lette, also northern Mindanao, southern Luzon, eventually even Manila, if this continues to track in that direction, it's going to be a huge rainmaker for you. So, uh, with that said though uh thanks again for watching here at western pacific weather uh once again if you are in any of these small islands you are under tropical storm warnings here from guam the national weather service so you do want to take the proper precautions and in the long range the philippines uh, needs to watch out for next week now once again i do want to say the catch-all it is still very long range there is a trough coming out of china here that could dip down significantly far and pick this up and recurve it uh over palau and then eventually off there towards the north that would be the more favorable scenario but there's this high pressure ridge lingering right here and this thing is a wall that is going to keep it towards the south if that breaks down it could churn but at least at this time uh most of everybody i've talked to really think that's going to remain in place so likely moving off here towards the west and then eventually over the philippines uh once again though uh, also we are not a official agency by any means here at western pacific weather so just take my advice here into consideration when making the proper preparations please uh, tune into bagasa when they finally do start warning on the storm system or the official wmo for the western pacific agency or the western pacific basin that is that is the japan meteorological agency who at the end of the day is the a very official agency out across the entire western pacific and Eastern Asia. Asia. So uh, thanks again for watching, though. Stay safe. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comment box below. Also, Saturday noontime or 11 uh, a.m. Japan Standard or Philippine Standard Time, uh, we are going to be having a live interactive update. Uh, you will get that information if you watch this whole update, which is now almost eight minutes long. So stay safe out there. Have a great day. Bye.